is the beginning of October, so might be the beginning of some more videos coming out throughout this month, which is exciting. I edited a video last night, um, part for a campaign, but also just like it was such a well thought out video, I think, and it was so fun and it, it will be coming out soon. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. But today we have also an exciting day because today I'm doing a studio shoot. And if you guys don't know, I've started to become the photographer behind the lens versus just taking photos in front of the camera, which has been so fun. Here are a couple examples of some things that I've shot lately. Weddings, engagement parties, branding shoots, and I actually just booked a maternity shoot, which is exciting. I moved slightly, but don't worry, I'm not driving and recording. I am in <laughs> the Tim's drive-through because I am so tired. I stayed up way too late last night and it totally feels like October. One sec. Hi there, my please have a medium steep tea, two milk, one sugar, and one cinnamon raisin bagel toasted with butter, please. Medium steep tea, two milk, one sugar, and cinnamon raisin bagel toasted with butter. Perfect. All right, have a nice Thanks. And so today I'm doing a branding shoot with one of my such close friends, Sarah, who you would have seen if you've been here for some time in my Mexico vlog. Olga and then Sarah's sister Mariah as well were doing a branding shoots for their new branch of their real estate business. So I am jacked up because we have been doing some planning and some inspo and here are a couple of the inspo pieces but let's get to the studio because it's in this place called Galt and it's actually down the street from one of my other best friends Haley's house at the moment. So hopefully we can go to lunch. So today's gonna be a super fun day. And I'm here a couple minutes early too, so I can show you guys around. So right when you walk in the studio, there's like these little curtains so you can hide. They have these green couches. They switch stuff around all of the time. They have this, I guess they had like bridal or baby shower shoot. I love these black things. I'm definitely gonna do something there. This couch I've shot at before. Little barista stand in case you wanna do some stuff. They also have their little Wi-Fi. Oh my gosh. And in studios like this, oftentimes what will happen is you like book your time and if you book it with like a couple months in between, they usually change stuff around. Like Ray and I had a totally different setup when we shot here before, but I'm excited for this shoot. Oh my gosh. Hopefully I can show you some of the finished product as well after and I'll get a couple of behind the scenes. I don't know if I mentioned this in the morning. I booked two hours with the gals from nine to 11 and then I extended my time an hour so that I could just shoot some content by myself, by my little lonesome. But also, let me just show you the street. It's so freaking cute. Yes. So I'm just gonna wait for the girls and get shooting this brand shoot. Actually, do you know what, before I totally sign off, if you guys have any questions about photography, brand shoots, engagement shoots, like what to wear, things like that, I think I'm gonna make a series that's all on just photography and that side of my life and my creative journey. And yeah, if you have any questions, maybe we'll do like a photography slash photo shoot Q&A, so leave those down below, those questions. <laughs> Immediately when I come in, I love to hang up everything so that I can kind of start laying out outfits and like choosing what I'm gonna do. So that's what I'm doing, yeah. Also, if you guys are looking into a new straightener, invest in the Dyson Corral. Like today, I just brought it. I know that there are plugs everywhere, but I pre-charged it and cordless, I just shoved it in my bag. Honestly, most convenient thing ever. I am 100% saving up to hopefully get the air wrap, but I know that is like a pricey, pricey piece of technology. I also just recently got this soft glam palette and like this, I, I don't know, if this doesn't say Autumn Vibes or Amanda, I don't know what does. I won a gift card at a baby shower and it was like $25, oh wait, no, was it $20 or $15, something like that. But I was like, worth it going towards that palette. There we go, I'm just gonna get it.
since they have this perfect outfit mirror right here. Maybe the backlighting a little bit. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I'm wearing my black turtleneck. This is like classic Amanda uniform. I also just recently got these gold hoops downtown shopping with my best friend, Rebecca. I'm forgetting the name of the store right now, but I'll put it right here. <laughs> I also started using the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Guys, this is like the product. Cezanne belt, I'll link that down below. It has been amazing, amazing. It's not gonna break the bank. It's not gonna break the bank, but it is a premium store, I would say. My Reformation jeans, these are the Cynthia ones. They stretch out just a touch, and I've worn these a couple days in the row, so this is like them a bit stretched out, but I think they still look great. And then of course, little black boots. Those are from Linthraval from last year. And I've been scoping out a couple of their booties this year and they've got stuff that's so similar. So I will try to link something like that down below as well. If you guys see in the background, like some of the behind the scenes, if you see one of the girls wearing something that you're interested in, let me know because I will just send them a message. They're like friends, not just clients. So yeah, let me know. I know they're gonna be doing this like one black look just to keep it super professional. And then they have another one in mind. So that will be so cute. Right here. That's a wrap! <laughs> oh, it's a 
recording. I did it wrong. <laughs> okay, so the girls just left, and I find that there's always this like, whew, down period after you do a photo shoot because you're so high energy, like you wanna bring that charisma, you wanna bring that energy, you wanna make people feel so comfy in front of the camera, and those gals just so rocked it. Here's a couple of examples from our shoot. You can tell we really tried to combine a mixture of like, serious, invitable, approach, invitable, approachable is what I mean, um, some movement as well, and just some like really good stock photo kind of stuff. It's totally okay to use the same set in multiple looks, especially when it's a set as beautiful as this. So I booked, like I said earlier, at this studio for an hour after them. So I'm gonna do some shots of myself, of myself on a tripod. And if you guys are ever curious about how I do that, it's usually on a self timer or through an app. And maybe I could do like um, a vlog adventure day, taking Instagram photos and just show you the whole process behind the scenes. But right now, this is a rented studio, so I gotta get to it. stop at one of my favorite bakeries it's called diamonds and they have like this peanut butter or marshmallow square it sounds so weird but it was a little bit out of my way on the way but a little out of the way and I was like worth it I gotta go get it I gotta go get it I'm craving especially after a studio shoot I'll show you it's so cute. Feels so good when you get to take off your mask. Okay, so I got so many things, exciting things. First of all, this man was selling this sauce to help people with, well, to raise money for people who have gone through trauma, but it's um, this original sauce, kenoki sauce. I was like, oh, that sounds good. He had a spicy one too, but I'm not a spicy gal. Scott probably would have liked that too, but I'm sure he'll like this. I asked, I was like, what do I put this on? <laughs> he said, chicken sounds good. And I said, that sounds great. Second thing, guys, when was the last time you had a Joan soda? If you're watching, do you have Joan soda where you live? Because it's so good. This is a cream soda. I haven't had it for so long. I remember cream soda as a kid used to be like bright pink, like the crushed cream sodas, but then a Jones one was clear. I always felt so cool. And basically, if you never heard of Jones soda, they will take like local artists or photographers or whoever sends in photos and they will put it on the front. And then they will as well credit them. So Elena Durant from Cambridge, Ontario, this is your photo on my Jones soda. Are you watching? <laughs> um, secondly, well thirdly, I was asking the guy, he was just stocking the fridges in there and anytime you stop at like a local farmer's market kind of place, kind of like that, they will usually have fresh baked things but then sometimes they'll also have meal stuff. So I picked up a lasagna for Scotty and I because we can just throw this in the freezer and it can be like, a, we call them mercy meals. And then as well, this sounded really good. Sorry, vegetarians. This is a braised beef short rib pie. So you'd bake that, you'd probably make some mashed potatoes. That sounds so good. And those are the kind of things too, that even though we've got the whole pie, I might even take half of it for dinner, freeze the other half, and then there would probably be a piece as well for, oh my gosh, I almost forgot this, a piece as well for leftovers. And finally, oh my freaking, Goodness, I am a sweet apple cider fiend. Like, I love apple cider. Instead of having coffee or tea sometimes, I will get fresh apple cider, put it in a glass, put it in a mug rather, microwave it, put some cinnamon in there. That is like my ideal. And then where is my treat? The actual thing I went in there for. Oh, it's here. And then this is my little treat. It's like this marshmallow. Sorry that you're shaking a little bit there. You're really bouncing. It's this marshmallow peanut butter. Um, 
butterscotch kind of square. It's so good, it reminds me of my grandma. Anyways, that's what I picked up. Time to go home, time to put on my sunglasses, window down, cream soda in hand. Doesn't get much cooler than that. <laughs> also, a little check-in. These brows are staying in place. Like this Anastasia brow freeze does the trick. I'm sure you guys have been hearing all the rave reviews online, but when I was sweating inside the studio and I kind of moved them a little bit, they all clumped together. And then I brought a little spoolie with me, but so far highly recommend, especially on such a kind of active day. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Ready? Ready? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she always does that. She'll like yawn on you. Do you think we baby her too much? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, right in the mouth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I just got home. I popped in that lasagna and by just got home, I mean like an hour ago. Rosie is sunning herself. I have to show you, she's so cute in the window. She's just been so cute lately. I feel like she's just really coming of age and she knows who she is. Look how cute you are. She just loves laying right here. She can smell the outside. And so Scotty just left to pick up some of her food, which is great. I am going to do a bunch of computer stuff. I'm gonna upload all those photos just to double check. I always love having photos in two places, not just one. I have to actually prep because tomorrow I'm shooting a wedding on my own um, because of just COVID stuff. Things got changed around and people got double booked. So I'm doing that for my friend Ray. And last but not least, I'm gonna edit some videos for you guys. I think I'm gonna edit this video right now and I also shot a video when I was in open space, which was awesome, which you guys would have seen. And I also just brought home like all my fall stuff and a couple of fall buckets. So I think that maybe later, if I have some time to breathe, I'm gonna do like a little wardrobe swap out, but that could be another just fun, like chill hangout video that I could maybe film as well. But I am the queen of putting way too much on my to-do list only getting done a reasonable amount, even though that's like a good amount to get done, and then being like, oh, I didn't do as much as I wanted to. So if you struggle with that as well, no, you're not alone. I'm gonna go start editing, and then I will catch up with you guys, maybe a little lasagna taste test. Rosie. I've been on my computer so much lately. It's honestly comical, like how many hours. I was thinking about it the other day, thinking, oh, if I worked a normal job, like 40 hours a week, would I stack up? Like how much work would I get done? And then I was thinking about the actual hours that I've been putting in lately. And how I said to Scott the other day, I was like, we need a vacation, <laughs> we seriously do. So I think we're gonna start looking at that because it's really hard for us to disconnect. But the one great thing, well, one of the many great things about Rosie, she constantly reminds us, sit, sit. She constantly reminds us that we have to take a break. <laughs> She's so cute. So I realized I didn't even close out that vlog and I didn't tell you about the lasagna either. But I'm actually glad I didn't because Scott had it for dinner. What did you think of that lasagna? <laughs> Something like rumble. <laughs> I had it for dinner, it was delicious. I really enjoyed it. You know what? When I finished it, I thought, I should have more of this. You did? Yeah, so I might have some later. But actually, we're not, because we got something else. I have something Sorry. later. Um, to be honest, it was really good. Um, I still think my mom's is better. It is better, your mom's is better. But you can't order that yourself, so. Well, there's a letter. <laughs> I'm sure Bonnie would order until the Tonight, to close out this vlog, we went to one of our favorite spots mm -hmm. down at Bronte, it's called the Flavor Fox. Highly recommend, guys, if you have, Maybe. honestly for anyone, if you have a gelato place, ice cream place close to you, just order it to go. And then go pick it up. And then you skip the line, because this place is very, very popular <laughs> throughout those summer days. Um, quick cue, before I close out this vlog, what flavors did you get? 
I think I actually went for three this time. <gasps> I went for two this time. Oh wow! I wonder if I can exit this way. Scotty usually oh boy. we have to park in the back can. because Let's find oh, out. we're just driving. We're in a ginormous car, so it's gonna be. It might be a. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. You know what? When you're in an SUV, <laughs> you make you the rules. A lot of places. <laughs> uh, so I got three flavors. I got salted caramel. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure I don't hit a pedestrian. Salted yeah. caramel, uh, peanut butter, not a chocolate peanut butter, just a straight up gelato peanut butter. And then, of course, I got some chocolate to add into that. Look at this lighting right now. This uh, is great. Yeah, it's probably like super great. We should put M83's Midnight <laughs> City underneath this. Just a clip here. I like it. I, you'll like it, don't worry. We don't need to know about you. Rosie is in the back though. Also, if you, look at her, she's so cute. She's if like, you're hey. curious what I got. I don't think Because no one That's asked. <laughs> I only got two this time. I got chocolate and salted caramel. Honestly, I was tempted to just get salted caramel 100 because it it's is. It's so good, that flavor. Damn, it's great. Well. What flavor did Rosie get? Flavor got. <laughs> flavor got? <laughs> Oh, we're gonna go home to watch a morning show. We just watched Ted Lasso. I hope you guys are on that train Can't as well. I believe they killed Ted. I know, Ted's dead. <laughs> it's dark. Okay, this lighting though is dark. Um, we love you guys and- I don't know these people. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.